Hello everyone, my name is Roya and I'm kind of focused on petting the cat that's in my lap right now. Um, this is like the fourth video, or the, yeah, the fifth video that I filmed in the same clothes and everything one after another with the same cat in my lap and I don't know why she always wants to sit in my lap while I'm filming even though she hates being on camera so that's kind of crazy. Anyway, this video is another monthly recommendations video. Um, so monthly recommendations was created by Trina from Between Chapters and Kayla from Kayla Rain, and this month's theme is historical fiction, which is of course one of my favorite things to read. I haven't been reading as much historical fiction lately, but uh, yeah. The first book that I'm going to tell you about is Silent Night by Tori Phillips. And this is about a monk who used to be a knight who then kind of has to uh, deal with the fact that he's falling in love with this lady who he's helping get to this place where she has to marry some evil dude. Um, so even though he hasn't actually um, taken his monkly vows as, and isn't like a full monk yet, he still just really wants to be a monk and doesn't want to fall in love with this lady. Um, but too bad. <laughs> so this book, like, it looks so cheesy. It seems like the cheesiest book in the whole wide world, but it's actually super good. And I loved every, like, second of this book. This is the kind of book that I seriously could not put down. It was so good. There is so much action and everything in this book, and it's really awesome. The main girl in it kind of annoyed me towards the beginning, because she's supposed to be, like, 18, but she kind of acted a little bit like she was 12 but she kind of stopped acting like a 12 year old about halfway through the book so yeah um but that was like the only thing that I didn't really like about it um but yeah so read this book it's severely underrated apparently because I had never heard of it until I read it and I was like holy crap so the next book is The Help by Catherine Stockett and I this was seriously one of my absolute favorites it made it onto my favorites list of last year so this is about a girl who wants to write a book about the different stories that um, the black maids in her community have about the white people that they work for. Um, and it is also about two of the maids who help her do this. So this is a really amazing book. It is so entertaining the whole way through. The audiobook is also really good. It has like a different narrator for each of the alternating chapters. So a different narrator playing each of the three point of view characters. But um, anyway, so definitely read this book. <laughs> the next book um, is one that I don't have with me, but it is one of my favorite books of all time. So I really should own this book, but I don't. Um, and that is The Dark Queen by Susan Carroll. And I love this book so much. It is about um, these three sisters who are healer women on an island in France. And this is a historical fantasy book, but um, I, and I promised myself that I would kind of rule out any like historical fantasies or time travel stories or anything like that and just talk about like bare bones historical fiction books in this video but I just could not help but put this one in there because it is seriously one of my favorite books ever um and interestingly enough it is written by an author who normally writes romance but this is so not even close to a romance book at all and lastly what I'm going to recommend to you next is not a book but an author and that is Philippa Gregory um I have seriously read like 10 of her books or something I don't know um so mostly she has written stuff set during the Tudor era but she has also written things about like you know more recent history so um I don't know so a good place to start with her books is The Other Boleyn Girl which is about um Anne Boleyn's sister Mary who actually um, was King Henry VIII's mistress before he married Anne Boleyn because he kind of just got tired of her and married her sister instead, which is kind of crappy, um, obviously. <laughs> so anyway, um, that is a really good book. Um, one of my favorites of hers, however, is the White Acre trilogy, um, but uh, and that is about a girl named Beatrice who um, basically her family owns this wide expanse of land called Whiteacre and her brother is going to get it one day instead of her because he's a boy even though he doesn't like know the land and isn't a part of it as much as she is because he just sits around like reading books um, in the living room while she is out actually helping with the harvesting and doing all this stuff so 
It frustrates her to no end that she is not going to inherit this land because she's a girl. Um, so I warn you though that as amazing as I think this book is, it is so not for everybody um, because there are some things in it that are kind of fucked up. I'm sorry. So um, first of all, um, the main character is very, very unlikable. I mean, to the point where she's actually a sociopath. And um, so a lot of really messed up things happen because she is, she like really does not give a shit about anybody. So even when there's a part where her son almost dies, um, she like freaks out and goes, oh my gosh, save my son. And not because he's her son, because um, she doesn't actually give a shit, but because um, she knows that he will inherit the land one day if her brother doesn't have any sons. That's the only reason she cares about saving her son. So it's pretty shitty. Um, she's a really shitty person, but I think that makes her really fun to read about just because like she's such a messed up person kind of and then also there are um there is quite a bit of incest between siblings in this book um specifically the first book the second two not quite as much i mean the second one kind of but anyway um so basically i mean i know it's not like even though it's not like a cersei lannister type thing it's more of a like how can I trick my brother? Hi, Harry, kind of thing. Like, basically, um, and that doesn't make it much better. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so I just warn you about those things, um, because if those kind of things bother you, you probably shouldn't read this book. But if these things will not bother you, you should definitely read this book because it is really good. Um, the second book focuses on Beatrice's daughter, and the third book, which I think is actually kind of the best one, focuses on her daughter's daughter, who has uh, kind of um, not known who she is her entire life because she's like orphaned and yeah, so she doesn't know um, about the land. Even, so if incest really bothers you and all that other stuff that I talked about really bothers you, um, just read the third book instead. Skip the first two because you don't need any of the information from those ones to read the third one. Um, the third one is called Meridon. So anyway, uh, <laughs> back to the point of this video. Um, yeah, those are some historical fiction recommendations. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you should totally let me know what your favorite historical fiction book is in the comments below, and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!